Mickey, don't be shady. <laughs> Mickey, don't be shady to her, okay? She ain't giving me that, like, girl, do you see how, do you see what I see? You know? <laughs> Mickey and Mama Aspen are playing tennis. Yes, Rita! Sasha, welcome to my channel, and I'm starting this finale with what I, I'm, I'm just gonna explain it, and you're like, who is this lady? If you watch the series, you might see her walk around the home and clean up. She is the maid, and she comes by every single day, bless her soul, and today she came in is super angry, and I'm like, what's tea, you know? Well, one thing I think she's also mad about is that Kim keeps cleaning the house because of his neat trait. She's pregnant. And I'm like, oh, ma'am. Who's the baby daddy? Now, I know I'm just so dang snoopy. So, I press the MC command center. I go to MC pregnancy. And I'm like, Edgar Rocha, Roja. Who is this sim? Like, and then it hit me. Y'all remember when episode two, Rita went out with that guy with the blue spiky hair. And like, he has one eye that's like what completely white. And uh, Y'all know who I'm talking about. And then Kane beat the ever living crap for treating his sister bad on the date. Y'all remember how episode two was wild? Well, he had a girlfriend, if you remember, right? I told y'all. Or a fiance, I don't even know. But like, you know, he's like selling dreams to that girl and he's doing what he wants. And look at him now. And you know, he's an adult sim, but like, the two girls, like, you know, his fiance and Rita are both young adult, and she's an adult sim, and so it's an age-appropriate relationship, if you want to say to you, but, like, gagging, what? And she's having a female baby, and she came here pregnant AF, and maybe she's moody, because, like, it was probably, like, not something serious, I don't know, I really don't know, I don't control her, so, <laughs> oh, she's taking her shoes off, okay. Yeah, she might twirl into her made outfit. I was trying to copy all her makeup and stuff to her categories. So, yeah, she gets annoyed. Yeah. She's like, only this to clean up. Oh, Lord. But, yeah, Kane is asleep. She's also taking a nap. Kane's friend stopped by. If I have a photo, I'll show y'all. Um, the past few days, I was just, you know, trying to do some stuff. It's the finale day. We're going to be going to Del Sol Valley as a family trip and stay over with Kane's family. So that's going to be really fun. The finale slot is going to be on dun, 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 the Weenie Roast. I'll see y'all at the Weenie Roast right before they travel because it's just going to be a little redundant for the next few days and I know y'all want to see the whole tea. So y'all, it's a bit hectic. They are, you know, getting ready to fly out to Del Sol Valley, having to do some last minute packing. I did like a greenish, pinkish colors representing both daughters. I just thought it'd be fun. So the green one will be um, Kane and Mickey's one. Oh my god, why do I think there was an open in this? <laughs> I really thought I could take this and it was draggable and I could just put everything inside it like this. Okay. So I literally have everything open out here. Like this is what the kids are going to take. So I'm just going to go open their inventories. Going to build the blocks, uh, her iPad, uh, a rock -a stack. Uh, the book is for Lily. The art supplies for Lily. The llama is for Lily. The cat is for Daisy. Uh, this bear, sorry, rabbit is for Lily. Um, this iPad's for Lily. I got this perfume for Aspen. It's a happy scent. And then I also got this one. It's like a fire opal thing. And basically, it like 
what it says that it, it, it let's just say like a legend has it that basically if you have this crystal it friendly socials and never fail and read and and it recharges your hygiene needs so mickey needs all of the friendly interactions to go through with miss aspen and then here's Mickey's stuff that's all over the floor too. So I'm gonna just put Mickey's face masks in the inventory. She already has her birth control and her woohoo protection, but I don't think they're gonna be doing anything. But you know, always gotta be safe than sorry. And then her cigarettes. Um, she's gonna have. She's gonna be the one to give Aspen the gifts, I think. Um, and then she also has a little steamy read to go through. And then um, she, they have two laptops. I don't know why, but I'm gonna just put one of them in here. And right now they're about to. She, she's gonna. She bought a box of chocolates and um, drinks. So she's about to get them out right now. Make sure that they could go into the luggage and everything. So yeah, she's about to get all of that. And then I'm gonna put this luggage in Kane's inventory, and then this luggage in Lily's inventory so yeah and then here here's the bottle and so that's all the gifts so she's gonna give that to her father-in-law and mother-in-law i know kate could be giving them but i just feel like you know mickey really needs this w okay she even knows it she's like oh i'm nervous but you know what i got this so they prepared the kids they're about to leave so i'll see y'all in Dawson valley welcome to the bolton's abode okay so this is del sol valley I don't even know why, but Aspen did not tell her kids she moved. And she didn't even tell them grandma and grandpa moved. Grandma and grandpa and Landon and his fiance are in Henford on Bagley. Landon and his fiance want to move somewhere else. I don't even know if it's his fiance or it's what. Like, I need to know the tea. Like, what's going on with this family? And why are they not updating Kane or Rita? Is it like out of sight, out of mind type of situation for real? So let's go ahead and look where my sims are they just arrived and they're tired they're taking a nap literally just knocked out um yes mickey was disturbed she was like how do they have this photo of us like and why is it on the wall like she was just so weirded out by her parents oh kane is sick and i'm catching something from you know the plane and stuff but oh yeah mickey was weirded out she was like kane i don't like that our photo is there and he's just like look like we're just gonna be here this weekend we can ask them to take it down after that or something you know but right now i'm tired and i know you're tired oh the girls are up from their nap oh well they're still sleeping but yes the girl this is the girl's room and I guess this is where Daisy's supposed to sleep and here is where Lily is supposed to sleep. So if you just want to see a more further sorry a further look of their room this is how it looks. And I did not build any of this really. I just tried to, you know, add stuff that was more you know what I'm saying? Like I think in this stand I have a toddler bed. So I had to add a toddler bed. So look Ario and Rita are here also for this Wiener Roast long weekend. So yeah, like look at the city's just views in the back and they're just like sleeping here. I know Rita kind of misses home and this is not the home she knew. And yes, Lo Ario was like, did you give a picture of us to your mom? And the same thing happened. Like mother don't care. Like look at the messages she got on the wall for Rita. Don't overthink it keep fashion weird if you remember last episode i don't know if i really talked about it i feel like rita's mom kind of thinks rita is doing a little too much with the fashion but you know she's like kind of telling her her fashion is weird you know and don't overthink it you're like what does that mean then let me show y'all why is there an infant crib in this room and why does the mom think they should be making a baby well what like unhinged like and look at the mom she's like oh you know money is important in life like she just the the little subtleness you know and she even got a typewriter she was like you write your little weird books <laughs> you know but they're gonna definitely have a talk about stuff soon and then here is garrett's room garrett's room is like the most i guess i did i would feel like yeah so he's into if you remember fashion where is the thing Oh, it's here. Okay. Yeah. He's into fashion and stuff. So I feel like he probably like brings some actors or stuff like that. Like, you know, Sims who are influencers and stuff who he might just help out and stuff. And, you know, Garrett's a very talented. Um, and of course, he's always trying in life. And then here's his computer. And uh, yeah, he won an award for fashion in my mind. Okay. So, yeah. 
this is Aspen in her husband's room and uh, this is where she gets like her makeovers done and then she has like a little vanity area yeah so random oh i want to show y'all a random photo i saw in aspen's inventory it took me all the way out anyway yeah, here's the photo so i saw this photo in her inventory like not aspen taking a photo with a fan like if you don't know aspen is a celebrity she used to be like in my mind like an actress and then after she got married she's not in the industry anymore so yeah i guess she took a photo with a fan in the photo booth and y'all know i don't really control aspen like that like right now i think it's the first time this season that i'm properly controlling like household that you control any sim mod okay so yeah that's pretty much the rundown and if you're trying to see the house it's three or four floors i think but yeah, this is the, the downstairs floor it's like a bunch of i like, feel like living rooms and like banquet rooms and just like a bar room to chill and they have the hookah out here yeah it's just like a bunch of that all over the house i don't know if this is what rich people do y'all but this is what, uh, the dad's room i did customize and add some stuff for him a little bit just just to make it like look like he's a lawyer you know he's a level 10 of his career he is a private attorney um and he's a partner attorney at his firm like he just he makes a lot of money per day and yeah so aspen you know I, everybody would think that aspen should be downsizing it's only her and her husband and no miss aspen wants to go higher like what anyway this is the room that her brother and fiance will be staying in and um we're gonna be meeting them very soon so yes and then yeah there's just more bars and stuff like that all over the house and an entertainment area so and this this the kitchen like i said there's a lot of living rooms in this house okay and then there's a downstairs so there is a nice hot springs and then there's a sauna area and then there's an indoor pool because like i know Mickey and I both were looking at this home like there is no pool. How dreadful. You know, that's literally how it came off, you know? And because, uh, like, all that land and for what? So there's a little gym here. Um, oh. Is Aspen trying to do some more influencery type of stuff? Is this where she's trying to get into? And then there's a massage room, a hot tub area. And. Oh, even more hookah mother don't play about her hookah i guess and another banquet like sitting area where you guys could watch tv and movies and then there's this whole piece of emptiness that she doesn't know what to do with yet and then of course here's the butler's room so they have two butlers one butler's name is aaron and the other butler's name is hillary and of course she has the money vault and if you're like oh my god she only has sixty thousand some more how she can afford this she has like a whole three hundred thousand saved up somewhere else you know what Aspen reminds me of? She reminds me of Karen Huger from Real Housewives of Potomac Season 3 when she was talking about how she wanted to upgrade her home and everybody was assuming that she was going to like downsize but like you know it's going to be still lavish because all her kids moved out and it was just her and her husband. Turns out she even bought a bigger home than her old home and I think that's what kind of Aspen reminds me of like looking at this now it's like oh I understand why Karen Huger did that. Not really. But sorta. I don't know if y'all met him. He's like the security guard of the area. He's always checking the premises, making sure if Sims are behaving right. So yeah, I like how he takes care of this house. So it looks like Uncle Landon and I guess the new auntie of the family, Wanda, is here. So they're the stayover guest. Hello, family. Do you like welcome them or something? I don't know. It's my first time doing the stayover properly, I guess. Welcome to my building abode i feel like that's what she would say she's just being so extra you know you gotta love her at some aspen oh there she is with the with the bundles oh yeah she's like mm -hmm, happy content oh okay. my sister you know i feel like that's how it is between them and then let's go say hi to brother landon oh my brother i love you kind of talked about how i'm sure if i didn't but landon did some cos cosmetic procedures but he also stopped a lot of the botox he was taking and now his age is starting to show and he did do some cosmetic procedures which did change up his face a little bit because he stopped the botox you know again this is del sol valley people they be doing a little you know this and that and if you don't know miss aspen got everything done okay this the doctor knows her body okay 
like period but yeah yeah miss aspen got everything you know to mankind done and she's not shy from surgery and she's proud she's like you know if you say oh you got work done she's like yeah you should like she literally y'all if y'all know she's a mean sim actually like that's one of her traits she's going upstairs right now to wake up mickey and rita because she wants them to go out too so they're trying to make it a girl's day oh well at least mickey is dressed up they're gonna be going to the they give it like a <laughs> nice little gym area where Bay? she you know you could do a couple of <laughs> stuff just be cute and girly and have fun maybe has a spa we'll figure it out together the girls are together the sisters i love that for them it's like the all right Limla? mickey it's time to wake up yeah, and he's like oh okay we're going out to the gym and she's like yes we are let's go ladies y'all i am shook the receptionist is here okay i have a mod that allows sims to work as receptionist and she knows she's working at a spa wow okay she does have a cult eyes which annoy me but i don't know what to do with that but anyway um i really like this this slot is really cute i do think i remixed it a little bit but let's go out here which is the area i remix and i wanted them to play tennis you know i'm gonna have um her play against mickey i feel like you know kane's like mom you're always too hard on mickey so let's go and you know chill and i feel like Rita is like, oh, y'all are gonna play? Okay, I'm just gonna go get myself a nice milkshake. You know, the milkshakes here are always so good. I just remember growing up, I'd always grab something. So she's gonna go ahead and grab the Cookie Monster milkshake for herself. And I wish I could tell Wanda to grab something, but you can't control Sims on a stay away. So Rita's like, how long have you been dating my uncle? What's going on? You know, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna tell her, you have such a positive attitude, something just awesome about you. And then Rita finds out she's a snob, like, please, Rita be for real but yeah so Mickey and Mama Aspen are playing tennis this is a tennis mod override there's a tennis area here there's a yoga here so there's a lot of stuff for them to experience but I feel like Aspen's like look y'all been sleeping all day wake up let's get some stuff done like look at Mama Aspen like she don't play she slays Come on, Mama Aspen, show them how to stir. I cannot wait till this is actually in the game, though. The mod creator who made this is pretty iconic for this. Like, this is an override of the ping pong. Who are you? Are you a paparazzi? Oh, dear. This paparazzi is just going to take photos of Aspen to put her on the blogs. Like, look at her out and about. Well, it looks like Aspen won 3-2. to two. That was really close. Mickey... I feel like the last time she probably saw a sport was in high school, okay? Maybe college a little bit, but yeah, let's see. Are they going to shake hands? Are they going to meet each other in the halfway point? Aww. Oh, nay! She better not... <laughs> no, Miva! Oh, Mickey! Oh. All right, so let's have them sit here and then have the next group of ladies play together. Yeah, let's have her play ping pong against uh, oh. Miss Wanda. Is Wanda a young adult sim or an adult sim? Oh, she's young. Okay. Come on, Rita. Come on, Wanda. You better surf it up. Is that what you call it? I forgot. I used to play tennis when I was a kid. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> okay. Yes, you better do that for my girl, Mickey. <laughs> Look at her ring and her nails. Yes. Mama Aspen is getting her nails done, too. I love this for her. Oh, hey, Wanda. Wanda sitting out here relaxing, getting that done. Literally, the crazy part is they could do this in their house. But I think Miss Aspen was just trying to take him out. She saw that they were lounging a little too much and it was not to her liking. But we got to go back home because the weenie rose has to begin. Like, oh, she gave the gift to her mother-in-law. Oh, and they stocked the drinks for them. Oh. She's like, what, what is this, hun? She's like, it's a really good perfume. It smells so good. It's like, makes you happy. It's, there's such a great aura about it. She's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> and they're both looking at their nails. All right, it's time for the ladies to go back home. So let's go home. Let's start that weenie roast. Blasting the music. And I feel like upstairs aspen has a banquet you know she's not like the rogers family and you know middle class lower income people who be having you know tables and stuff and trying to do some barbecue no honey she got a chef on deck okay she don't play those games for some reason my sims are not behaving their autonomy just has them wanting to go somewhere else and i'm trying to tell y'all celebrate dance you know what i'm saying like let's have fun 
bombs, yeah. Oh, there's supposed to be fireworks too? Okay, uh, thankfully Rita has fireworks in her inventory. <laughs> I'm just gonna use them. I am. I really am. I mean, why did why go to the Humor Hijack Festival if you're not gonna use it on Weenie Rose, right? Alright, but it's still too early. What? These are birds! Oh my god! How you doing? What, what are y'all doing out here? I think I just downloaded that bird life mod. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, it really shocked me. But yeah, let's enjoy the weenie rose. Say it with me now. The weenie rose. Oh, he's trying to get a drink. Don't you dare pour a drink. Let's celebrate out here. Oh, Wanda's trying to leave already. Rita, like, <sighs> dance together. Nobody told y'all to cancel interactions. Oh, what is he drinking? An energy drink. Oh. Interesting. Delivery notification. <gasps> the, 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 the maid gave birth. She had one female baby with Edgar Rowe. Oh my god. Y'all see, I'm messy. That's why I like to have my notifications on through MCC. If you didn't watch my MCC tutorial, that's why. Like, I wouldn't have known. Yes, Sims. <laughs> Boom. Dun, 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 dun. She's active Sim. Oh, so she's having fun. Nice. <laughs> Today's supposed to be unproblematic. It's supposed to be fun. So I'm going to cancel Rita's interaction and have her light the fireworks. Rita. Yes. Did it fire out? Did it fizzle? All right, y'all. It is pretty late, but you know, Sims time be running really fast, and Sims are supposed to be sitting down and eating food. But I'm gonna have Kane actually call the meal. So this is like this the non-vegetarian, and then there's some vegetarian options here. Is this vegetarian? Oh, there's a roasted duck. Okay, mother went off. Um, yeah. So this is the vegetarian option. So some Sims are vegetarian, some Sims are vegetarians. Oh, the babies are eating. Oh, they're eating the lobster mac and cheese. I know they must love it. Oh my god, that's just so cute. Wait, is Mickey about to sit on the floor? Mickey, don't do that. Sit next to your husband. I think it's because she's having conversations with these Sims. But you could just sit and chat here. Just turn around while you're talking or something, you know? It is really late, so again, I feel like I'm just going to put these food away and have them eat that for the weekend. Oh! There's grandpa. Oh, somebody said it's nice to know that someone loves me. Somebody's telling their family member they love them. Good morning from Del Sol Valley. So yes, the party has been continuing for quite a bit. I'm not even gonna lie, I enjoyed it. I had them drink, had them eat, had them chat, and they were valuing some moodlets. So I'm gonna spill some of that tea for y'all. Hopefully they didn't leave. But yeah, oh my god, Del Sol Valley. Like I just love such a the city vibes, but like no apartments in this world. We deserve it. I really think there should be a refresh and add more lots to it. Oh, the Bolden couples like sleeping next to each other. Oh, the younger Boldens are sleeping here. And the kids are sleeping here. Baby Boldens. Oh, Rita and her men are cuddling. I don't think they've ever cuddled. But, you know, this trip brought them closer. Being around all this family. And he's saying that I want to introduce you to my family. I guess they want to eat and hang out. So they're starting their day early. Okay, they're, they, they, they operate different. This is one that really had a value that was really high on mickey but now she is valuing that her clothes are really clean the butlers are doing their work that's what she said <laughs> so let me read it to y'all this one sage advice on love from receiving life lessons on love that seemed like they had very good love advice it just might help mickey on her life journey and i'm assuming this is when grandma was talking to her you know grandma mclean and she told her honey don't worry all about it you know love a lot a lot you know and she liked it so yeah i'm noticing that they're really loving the clean clothes here so the butlers are doing what they have to do rita just had a blog worthy experience she should blog about it while it's still fresh you want to blog okay i i could do that there i have a mod for that and i didn't know rita wanted to like i know sometimes she might just like write but you know because she's a writer but yeah 
so i love you from saying i love you some sims just need to know how much i love them she said this to her brother garrett that was really cute and he was being sarcastic like do you love me for real sis and she's like oh shut up <laughs> don't make me regret saying it out loud you're hearing it today you know i feel like that's what happened let's see what lo ario has what should we do <gasps> they had a talk let's see relationships are hard sometimes you have to follow the flow but what's the flow together apart how much do we love each other and is love enough and the kids they're pretty much chilling they don't really have such big moods overcame differences oh oh my god the kids had a, not a good um I'm guessing they must have not like a good compatibility like that. And it says that they overcame their differences. They must have been like, you know, fighting over stuff and they overcame their differences. So I would give this a good holiday. I don't know why, but Garrett isn't here. So that kind of makes me sad, but that's okay. All right, y'all. Lo Ario just got this as a pop up too cheerful seems like the boldens are making good impressions on quote-unquote like in-law like will rita achieve something like this if she meets lo ario's family is the question hmm all right y'all welcome to the top golf experience in del sol valley now i don't know why this lot spawned this many sims who are so damn active just trying to all do this like i don't even have a slot to sit like why are you wearing a prom dress naomi uh not diana dale here these are like the high school years cast like some of y'all don't even live in this area but anyway i'm gonna like link y'all the lot details and stuff below oh my god rita i have to calculate how much money that is to add it to her household bro her newest book made 607 simoleons I don't know if y'all know how many books Rita has made, but I'll read it for y'all. Romantic Restaurant Rendezvous, What is Exclusivity, Love is a Triangle, Is She Unfriendly or Inexperienced? Wait, I don't even know where that book is. Oh, I don't think I have a copy of that book. Love Struck and Terrified. Hi, I'd like to have a table for my whole family. I know we're a big family. Yeah, I know, but just today. You won't be seeing us for a while but and we're gonna give you a lot of money you know all that stuff she's like well okay follow me oh wow they're sitting up at the third floor okay they're going sky high with this golfing experience oh is this where y'all sit in okay so i think they're gonna have two different tables oh public spotlight the blogs are talking y'all who are they talking about kane has been spotted dining out at a restaurant no senior Senior has fame. Oh, Kane has been spotted out dining at a restaurant. Oh, here comes the paparazzi and the fans. If they can get in, next thing you know, they'll start reporting on what he's eating. Aspen has been spotted out. Oh my God. So the couple, I guess, has some fame. They're keeping tabs. I would just expect Rita. Rita's the one who's a little more popping these days, but oop. All right, so I'm, again, the seating arrangement, I can't control it. So I'm gonna just let whoever sits with who be the real seating arrangement i know that rita's sitting here so i don't know who's gonna be sitting with rita look y'all i'm gonna be rude and take other people's areas okay <laughs> it's a big family okay um and then let's do dad and mom yeah the last end wait where oh yeah dad's sitting here anyway oh yeah yeah they own this all right somebody gotta order the food so i guess i'm gonna have kane order the meal <laughs> Let's order a bottle for the family. And of course they're gonna get that expensive 1K simoleons cause you know damn well. <gasps> he unlocked the lifestyle. Oh my God, sorry, a lot is happening. All right, let's go ahead and get them a Cobb salad. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I don't think I've seen that many Sims. <laughs> it went <laughs> All right, you know what? let's just go ahead and have them have a salad keep it light you know like yesterday they ate such heavy food you know so i'm gonna just get everybody a salad kate unlocked the hungry for love lifestyle i saw that he was on his way to unlock that y'all let's me show y'all yeah so he has the close knit and it's at risk though because you know he's hanging out with a lot of sims usually close knit sims just need a very like close you know what i'm saying people around them so i totally understand that and um mickey's on her way to unlocking a lifestyle let me update y'all on that she is in progress of unlocking the workaholic y'all know i'm a little scared if y'all watch my growing together lp you know workaholic kind of had me a little nervous but yeah that's pretty much the tea that's going on with them yes rita oh yes 
Oh, Mama Aspen and her husband going for it. I know that's right. <laughs> you gotta ship. You got to ship. Oh shit! Oh. She's smoking. Uh, Oh, Mickey, a little troublemaker. I mean, I don't know. I think Belsol doesn't have strict laws per se. Like, there, it is illegal, but it is frowned upon, I feel like, because they are, like, really rich. It's kind of like you have so much money, you can eat it at home or go to a hookah bar or the strip clubs or something, you know? I feel like that's what Belsol Valley is like. Go, Rita! <laughs> Oh, 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 Kane. Yes, Kane. Oh, he's like, how far to go? Go, Mickey. Go, Mickey. Go, Mickey. Yes. <laughs> what an awesome mod. Oh, she's gagged. Oh, she did not do well. Oh, wow. Her husband's doing amazing, though. Oh, Grandma's cheering her grandson on. She's like, go, son. Go, son. Go, son. Oh, period. <laughs> Love that for you. This mod is by Sepsit, if you don't know. This is an awesome mod. Okay, so y'all know whose food's who. I don't. I just ordered food. Oh, so cute. But do y'all see how Aspen looking at Mickey Loki? Like, hmm. Aspen, oh my god, ma'am. Ooh, there's a fire song playing. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted, so I'm gonna talk over this song so I don't get copyrighted. Okay, but that's kind of how the song sounds like, maybe. Like, <laughs> let's see the other family they're eating. Oh, okay, the other side, yeah. Mickey, don't be shady. <laughs> Mickey, don't be shady to her, okay? She ain't giving me that, like, girl, do you see how, do you see what I see? <laughs> I'm so weak. Don't do that, Mickey. Do not be shady, okay? Okay, Miss Aspen's getting mad at the paparazzi for annoying her family. So I'm gonna have to ask the paparazzi to leave. But do you have that kind of money? Okay, 500 simoleons. All right, please leave this area. I am not here for you to interrupt my family time. So let's. Oh, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. Okay, so Savannah from high school years i don't know if i ever told y'all this for college year series she couldn't go to college because she became an alcoholic and look at her just grabbing this drink on these people's table like she don't even know them uh, i saw that like randomly know. controlled her one time but yeah oh my god this is so concerning Hi. Kim please Kim leave Kim all right take the money and go all right there you go so sorry y'all for that I'm gonna just say Garrett because I don't think Garrett drank nothing. <gasps> you see how she's walking? You see how she's walking? I'm telling you, she has the alcoholic thing in the game. Like, I was shocked too. I was like, I did, because I don't play with Savannah. I just know her from, you know, being friends with my Sim Mello. And I had her sent to rehab because I wanted her actually to, to be the candidate for college years. Obviously, Savannah is such a sweetheart and Savannah is just such a nice Sim. And I wanted Savannah to have that experience, but I found out it's. Savannah is an alcoholic. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really appreciate all the love that you gave with the series, the Boldens, and that it's been like airing since almost last August. And if you know this after this episode for the season one, I will be taking a bit of a break and the Boldens will be back in the autumn. It depends on how I feel. Could it be like September, October, November, around that time, basically. I need to work on their save. I want it to be good. I want the next season characters. There are places to look good. The, like the sets, the, the, the lots, whatever you want to call Call it. everything needs to be good and i want to produce it really good i want y'all to be like okay this break she came back and it's so worth it oh my god my my peeps are back like i want y'all to feel something like that and i hope you do so thank you so much for watching this series and i cannot wait for y'all to watch the next part um since you're here and it's like the end of the video between you and me i'm gonna tell you right now it is a little juicy a little tea here so here's like more like the fun i'm not saying there's so much drama by the way but i'm just gonna say it's a little fun you're gonna be like okay you know she got the tea for me i, I sipped
<laughs> I feel like that's how you're gonna feel when you watch this episode and I cannot wait for you to watch it and I am gonna start editing it I'm hoping to upload it very soon too because I want to close the chapter on season one and I want to open the chapter for another series in the future and I want to close out my other series a cult baby challenge I don't know if you watch that but I do have that series and I definitely want to close those two series up so that I could open the slot for another series the problem is I'm not too sure what that series is <laughs> I'm gonna have to still think on it like I know I want to incorporate the new pack to the series but at the same time I'm not entirely sure like there's two ideas I have and I am really like loving both ideas I just don't have the slots to give both ideas the time now there's one I'm actually thinking of just moving it to the autumn and give one giving it the summer slot is yes I think of my series like that I think of it like winter summer like I really think of it like a tv show like what time of the year I'm giving this slot to what type of feeling are you gonna have and in the future are you like oh my god it was a cold day and I was watching the series on youtube that's what I'm trying to create with my series so yeah I apologize for all the rambling and I really love you for listening thank you so much i feel so bad again I'm like when i just go on and on i just get so shy like i'm like oh i shouldn't have done that for that long <laughs> thank you so much for watching this and oh sorry i am shy right now like covering my face <laughs> thank you so much for watching this my name is sasha and i wish you a lovely 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 day take care